So this is Kirk from uh, Pin Realm here. I'm going to show you how to disassemble a Mont Blanc 2232. Either one. Um, so what you'll need is a, some kind of metal rod or, or wooden rod, some kind of hard rod, and some Q-tips and a heat source, uh, preferably like a, a low temp heat gun or a blow dryer, something you can control the temperature. Um, so, and I'll show you how to swap these around since these are basically the same thing. The main difference between a 22 and a 32, this being a 22, has a snap cap. You can see the snap on there. The section is different and the nib is different. This one's not complete. I have a broken section on this one, so I can't show you the, the difference. They do swap. And actually, let's, there's the there's the threaded section there. So, what you'll do to swap them, if that's all you want to do, take the section off, pull the ring. There's there's this snap cap ring here, this little uh, spacer here, and this gold tone spacer there that locks, that matches into the barrel. So the same thing, this actually has a little bit of a, a lock in it. See there's a little, try to show you, there's little teeth, sort of, that lock into place so just put on on the 22 put the section on and now you have a 32 22 okay to complete disassembly going to heat this barrel right here. And once you've done that, you can take your rod and so what I can what I do is, is the pad you want to have your piston turned all the way into the closed position so drawn all the way up. What I do is I tear the cotton off the Q-tip. You're going to save the Q-tip for later here. Tear the cotton off. And you can stuff it in. Here you're going to retrieve it later. So it's all going to come apart. And then you're going to pop your pop Just like that. So this one's already been pre-done. So originally it had a little bit of a, a sealant, a white sealant of some sort that actually locks this in place a little tight a little tighter so so now I can just pull in and pull out without much strength so you would have so you would need to to put some kind of sealant in there maybe uh, shellac might be a safe option um, or the Mont Blanc sealant if you have it stuff. Okay, from there. Okay, so next next step is you take your piston out, so you're just going to unscrew this. This one has a broken connector, so that's why it'll pull right out and this will this spins freely. That's part of why I took this one apart to begin with. So it shouldn't shouldn't spin freely like that. So to take that out, you just push on this star voila and here's our culprit for what's broken on this one you can see the, the there's a little key the white key and there's a black key and the black key was originally attached up here and now it's not so we'll have to fix that somehow Reassemble, line it back up, 
star back in. You know, put your <coughs> this piston housing. Oops, thread it in on this side, and you're gonna line this up. And what you'll want to do is make sure and turn this all the way in. This will work a little bit differently whenever when the when the rod isn't broken. So you want it, and this is about how far most Mont Blanc or just about any manufacturer's pistons stick out beyond the housing. If we can adjust it as we go until it gets maybe a little bit closer. That's about as much as you can possibly get. This one moves up freely because once again that that piston rod is broken on the inside. So it allows me to go all the way down. So once you got that in, you can now take your piston and like I said you maybe want to put You'll need to put some kind of sealant, uh, some Sulac. What was on here was a kind of a very much like uh, the pink Mont Blanc silica sealant that's uh, on a 146 or 149 nib unit. That together. Get your gold. If, you're, if we're going back to our. Uh, snap cap 22 Put that back on there this has a little I'm trying to show you now. see that little lip there that goes underneath the gold trim piece and it just it just slides right in and here's your snap ring Two section, and you might put a little bit of silicone grease on this thread just to keep it from leaking. And of course, you would want to put some silicone grease on your piston to make sure it's nice and smooth, which we have. Now, put our 22 on there, and we're done.